Exodus chapter 9, Holman Christian Standard Bible. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says. Let my people go so that they may worship me. But if you refuse to let them go and keep holding them, then the Lord's hand will bring a severe plague against your livestock in the field, the horses, donkeys, camels, herds, and flocks. But the Lord will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and livestock of Egypt, so that nothing of all the Israelites, all that the Israelites own, will die. And the Lord set a time, saying, Tomorrow the Lord will do this thing in the land. The Lord did this the next day. All Egyptian livestock died, but none among the Israelite livestock died. Pharaoh sent messengers who saw that not a single one of the Israelite livestock was dead. But Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he did not let the people go. Then the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Take handfuls of furnace soot, and Moses is to throw it toward heaven in the sight of Pharaoh. It will, be the it will become fine dust over the entire land of Egypt. It will become festing, festering boils on man and beast throughout the land of Egypt. So they took the furnace soot and stood before Pharaoh. Moses threw it toward heaven, and it became festering boils on man and beast. The magicians could not stand before Moses because of the boils. But the boils were on the magicians as well as on the, all the Egyptians. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, and he did not listen to them, as the Lord had told Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Get up early in the morning and present yourself to Pharaoh. Tell him, This is what Yahweh, the God of the Hebrews, says. Let my people go, so that they may worship me. Otherwise, I'm going to send all my plagues against you, your officials, and your people. Then you will know that there's no one like me in all the earth. By now I could have stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with a plague, and you would have been obliterated from the earth. However, I have let you live for this purpose, to show you my power and to make my name known in all the earth. You are still acting arrogantly against my people by not letting them go. Tomorrow at this time, I will rain down the worst hail that has ever occurred in Egypt from the day it was founded until now. Therefore, give orders to bring your livestock and all that you have in the field into shelters. Every person and animal that is in the field and not brought inside will die because the hail will fall on them. Those among Pharaoh's officials who feared the word of the Lord made their servants and livestock flee to shelters. But those who didn't take the Lord's words seriously left their servants and livestock in the field. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand toward heaven and let there be hail throughout the land of Egypt, on man and beast and every plant of the field in the land of Egypt. So Moses stretched out his staff toward heaven, and the Lord sent thunder and hail. Lightning struck the earth, and the Lord rained hail on the land of Egypt. The hail, with lightning flashing through it, was so severe that nothing like it had occurred in the land since Egypt had become a nation. Throughout the land of Egypt, the hail struck down everything in the field, both man and beast. The hail beat down every plant of the field and shattered every tree in the field. The only place it didn't hail was in the land of Goshen, where the Israelites were. Pharaoh sent for Moses and Aaron. I have sinned this time, he said to them. Yahweh is the righteous one, and I and my people are the guilty ones. Make an appeal to Yahweh. There has been enough of God's thunder and hail. I will let you go. You don't need to stay any longer. Moses said to him, when I have left the city, I will extend my hands to Yahweh. The thunder will cease, and there will be no more hail, so that you know that the earth belongs to Yahweh. But as for you and your officials, I know that you still do not fear Yahweh our God. The flax and barley were destroyed because the barley was ripe, and the flax was budding. But the wheat and the spelt were not destroyed, since they are later crops. Moses went out from Pharaoh and the city and extended his arm, his hands to the Lord. Then the thunder and hail ceased, and, no rain, and rain no longer poured down on the earth. When Pharaoh saw that the rain, hail, and thunder had ceased, he sinned again and hardened his heart, he and his officials. So Pharaoh's heart hardened, and he did not let the Israelites go, as the Lord said through Moses.